Good day, good day, and how the honk are you today? Yes, welcome to Roverland. <laughs> this is your friend Dano, and this video is going to be about Tootsie Toys. That's right. Yeah, we've all got this box, don't we? Yeah, old Tootsie Toys. You got to buy this to get that. Yeah, well, these are Tootsie Toys. Yep, we're going to throw that aside because that's not the Tootsie Toys we want to talk about. It's the Tootsie Toy Land Rovers we want to talk about today. Yep, so we're going to start with the little guy first. And I've already remembered I forgot to pull one out. <laughs> I've got to show you a little bit of my collection. i got to grab one right from the cupboard here. Don't worry. Don't go anywhere, folks. I forgot two. <laughs> I've got quite a collection in there. They're scattered all over. All right, so here we go. We're going to start with the beginning. Uh, Tootsie Toy, and just a little uh, recap here on what Tootsie Toy is or who Tootsie Toy is, but they're based out of Chicago, Illinois, okay? And uh, actually still in business to this day. Uh, of course, another name or whatever like that. But anyway, they are like one of the original toy manufacturers in the United States, and yeah, officially, while well, they started like the late 1800s, and officially uh, trademarked Tootsie Toys in 1924, okay, so these guys have been around for a while, yeah, they've been around for a while, and actually, these are some of my uh, favorite toys, I, they are kind of hard to collect sometimes, and I'll show you some uh, different examples, and uh, you know, what I've got in my collection, that's what I'm going to show you today. Not perfect, but I am a, I'm a crazy diehard toy collector when it comes to Land Rovers. That's right, Land Rovers. All right, so let's, uh, let's start with this little bugger here. And uh, normally they're marked, you can see on the bottom, that they are marked with Land Rover on the bottom. And usually there's a Tootsie Toy... Um, a trademark on them now these uh and that box i showed you these are going to be like mid 60s um to 70s uh i don't have any of these on the package um a lot of times these were sold in multi-packs these were not a uh, single card um sale they were sold in a multi-pack so you get four or five Tootsie Toys in one uh, on the card blister. Okay, uh, so this is not too bad of an example. I I would you know I'm not really good at judging them. I I like them. Uh, this is going to be a, a a fair condition. You know, um, gonna kind of set this. Here's one that uh, I've I've just deemed that I can uh, mess with because it is a little messed up. Yeah, <laughs> somebody has done, uh, painted it, yeah, with mom's nail polish. Yeah, so you can see that there's uh, some pretty, pretty neat uh, customization going on there. All right, before we get too far, I'm going to show you this. Now, I am um, trying to build a collection of all Land Rovers, all Land Rovers nationwide, every model, in what Hot Wheels deems Zamax, okay, the bare metal. And this is my example of the Zamax bare metal Tootsie toy from 1960s. Not too bad of an example, you know, the, the eggs on the grill. So this is, you know, back in the day, mid-60s, that's eggs on the grill, as we call it here in the States. Not quite uh, accurate with the roof there, but, uh, you know, hey, it's a little cheap toy. So, you know, pretty neat. This happened to be a green one. So uh, so that that's, uh, I just stripped off the metal, polished it up a little bit. I should uh, put some kind of uh, clear coat on it so it doesn't rust. But uh, that goes to my... Um, I call it uh, my bare metal uh, collection. Someday I'll show you that one. Otherwise, 
Yeah, we've got uh, quite a few trucks that uh, we could take a look at. I'm going to back up here a little bit so you can uh, kind of see. Now, someday I'm going to show you my uh, how-to on... Uh, look, at they, they hook right together. Isn't that neat? <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you how I display my, my trucks and, and stuff like that. Boy, the lighting is so good in here, I tell you. So uh, I'm going to just try to... Whoa! Maybe I shouldn't try this, huh? <laughs> Still working on the studio around here, making sure that you know we get quality, quality every day. But this is just a, this is my collection. I got a little uh, box here, little display box that uh, I uh, swiped from. Uh, well, no, I didn't swipe it. I bought it from uh, you know a thrift store or whatnot, and uh, they fit in there two two by two. Now, as you see, green was the most popular color. And these are kind of uh, my most um, best condition and rare colors. As you see, the green one here, I deem that one is going to be the, the nicest of them all. You know, not too bad, very clean, not, not much rust or anything on that one. So, uh, this one, obviously, is originally red. And, um, yeah, not too bad a condition, you know, uh, you can tell on the inside that they were red and then blue, blue is very hard to come by too. Now I do find these in the wild. I do pay probably sometimes depending on the, you know, condition or whatnot, we will go up to $5 on one of these on eBay about the same. I won't pay more than $5. That's shipping include included with that so they can get kind of spendy they can get kind of spendy um the neat thing is that these have um very simple and uh you know being back from the 1960s or even before that very seven piece that's one body four tires and two axles now these axles unlike um hot wheels or uh, you know really uh the uh whoa hold on we got an earthquake <laughs> you gotta tighten that bugger up all right unlike uh matchbox in that they they don't have and we're gonna zoom in here they don't have um just a mushroomed end or anything like that they 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 are um i don't know they're rolled <laughs> they're they're rolled on both what both ends. The each end is the same, and so to to uh, get these buggers off, you'd really have to take some material off to get those axles off. So uh, and then this is cast, you know, die cast. So if you try to take those prongs and loosen them up, you're just gonna snap them. You know, they're not. They don't have any. Uh, I don't know what's a tinsel or or whatnot, but. Uh, yeah, so a lot of times what you do, and I've seen my friend Time Rider over there, he, he just snaps them in half, and then when you go to put the original wheels back on, you get a steel tube, you know, go to your uh, hobby store or whatever, and you can, uh, they kind of sleeve it. So you cut a steel tube, little steel tubing, from uh, the inside to the inside of that hanger there, and uh, then you can slip it in, glue it with whatever you want super glue epoxy and then it really looks nice and it's not that bad and you still have the original look on the edge the other thing that i haven't tried yet and i saw a couple of people doing it is putting modern hot wheels wheels and and uh, matchbox wheels on them you know and then kind of custom painting them up and stuff like that i would like to get into that but uh, right now, we're just going through the collection. But if you'd like to see a video like that, by all means, down in the comment, let me know. And uh, I could, I got a couple of spare green ones. I wouldn't mind, you know, seeing what we could do with it. All right. The next one we're going to take a look at is this one here. This is kind of uh, the same, well, the next era, I guess I should say. Uh, this is a Tootsie Toy. And uh, I got one more that I forgot to pick out for that one, too. Let me just grab that one real quick here. Boy, I'm just forgetting everything today. 
please forgive me. <laughs> this is your friend Dano, and we're just going and having fun. Now, this is one of my best examples um, that I have of a loose Tootsie toy. Very nice, clean, uh, barely a scratch or a tick or a flea bite on it. Even on the uh, toe hitch there, you know, they usually sharp edges like that. Really clean. The bottom is really clean. You can see that the wheels are uh, still shiny and bright. There it is. Land Rover Tootsie Toys made in USA. Now, I do have a couple of examples of uh, these on the card. These did actually come in like a blister, blister pack. And... Um, yeah, they just, uh, well, I guess I'm not going to be able to really zoom out much more here. But uh, this was uh, one of the first ones that I got on the card. Obviously, you can see the card was cut, but uh, it was in the package still. Yeah. And you can see uh, Flossmore, Illinois. I uh, little side note, I happen to be... Born in Illinois, <laughs> migrated back home to dad's homeland there. But uh, yeah, Chicago, Illinois. Just and this is uh, in the in the package mint. So let's take a look at the actual full package. Now this one's got a price tag on it. Um, I traded a guy for stuff. He wanted ten bucks. I might I might have trade value and whatnot might have come close to that but uh this is the only one i've got so i am not um sorry i gave 10 bucks for it if if that's what i had to you know per se give um he did mark it down though i don't know 15 or whatever but anyway so let's take that pretty plain on basic on the back of this one yeah that other one might have been an earlier one and uh had a little lot more uh a lot more going on there. Yep. All right. So that's what we got. Let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, collection that I've got of uh, these bad boys. Now, I like I say, I collect anything and everything that uh, is uh, Land Rover related. Um, before I. Good. And like I say, this is this is my best example I've got here. We're just going to take a couple look at a couple other cars. I mean, the, one of the things that I really liked about this car is it kind of had that Land Rover <laughs> wobble to it. You know, you could had going out into the the jungle and whatnot. I mean, it had pretty good details on the hood. You know, it's got the uh, Series Three uh, type, uh, grill on it and headlights on the, on the wing, you know, they kind of try to emulate the, uh, split windows, you know, and stuff like that. So they got the, you know, there's a lot of things. The roof is a little bit better. It had the three ribs and a slight, slight, uh, slant there. Not as pronounced as the, the original and kind of a generic back. They kind of fell short on details back there, but had a good, good, uh, tow hook on it but yeah talking about tow hook let's talk about tootsie toys now i i do collect uh you know when i can find them and i i don't like go out of my way but uh, i do have a small collection of uh tootsie toys um trailers because you never know when you might want to hook up your uh land rover with a trailer now these kind of have different uh different wheels on them i think this was a u-haul one but uh, these are Tootsie Toys, about the same era. Now, this one here, um, you know, I don't really remember where I got this from, uh, how I acquired it. I'm sure I, I paid some money for it. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, uh, Tootsie Toy, Chicago, Illinois. But this is practically all plastic, the base. Uh, the top everything is plastic there. So just kind of um, chintzy, but This is how it was uh, Sold it had a dome plastic over it with like a cardboard tray that it would sit on and uh, This was one of the sets and that's uh, I think why I bought that one is uh, Because it was an actual set that this was sold 
was this right here this example right here so uh, pretty nifty I had to have that so just you know kind of one of those things you always got to have accessories with your uh, your trucks so uh, so once again uh, nice little beat up one here's here's one uh, this one is got uh, what is it JJ JJ Lucas he's done uh, modified his <laughs> <laughs> made made sure nobody got a hold of his i like that one got jj on the side <laughs> like i like it i like it all right i'm not keeping count of these i'm just kind of rolling them through i've uh, got them in a jammer and uh, i don't know maybe you don't have to see them all but they're just same typical wear and tear on them they uh just uh you know maybe i could show you uh my uh my jammer full of uh, Tootsie Toys. I don't. I don't know. Let me see if I can get over here to the to the Tootsie Toys here. And then, of course, I gotta show you my uh, specialty there that I gotta run. All right, let's not jiggle around too much. But here's my jammer. Here's my jammer full of Tootsie Toy trucks that I've got folded up there. Yep. Like I say, I just uh, put them in there. They fit kind of tight. The trailers kind of bulge out, so I put them in the middle so the plastic that uh, plastic door can uh, kind of bend over on those. But uh, that's that's uh, what I got for those. And of course, like I said, I'm trying to build a Zamax collection of them. Now I didn't. Um, I wanted to change the tires on this one. I do. I do sometimes change the tires on them. Uh, I don't know. I may uh, see if I can get a nice set of tires to put on my Zamax so they're original, but they're stripped down uh, to the bare metal. And I guess one of the other things, and this kind of reminds me, there was a Land Rover ad one time that I saw early on in my collecting which was a, uh, I believe it was a Defender body. And it was a picture just like this. And it was just the bare metal aluminum body. No top to it, nothing like that. And uh, it was an advertisement or a picture. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about if you're any kind of a Land Rover nut like I am. And so that's one of the things that I'm trying to emulate with, uh, what this, with this bare metal collection too, as well as kind of, Kind of copying the old uh, Walmart Zamax. So this was late 60s, early 70s, and we move on to the next model that they kind of did. Now they were getting into uh, more uh, plastic and more, um, yeah, I guess just, just more plastic so they could, uh, you know, compete with prices but still be a, a good toy manufacturer, you know. So this uh, brown part is uh, brown, and you see Tootsie Toys there. Oh man, here's the price tag. I like to keep the price tag on them if I can. Uh, two bucks for this one. Oh, I really broke the bank that day. Tootsie Toy, yep, Land Rover. Simple construction, a little rivet in the back there. Clip-on plastic uh, uh, holders for the axles there, solid steel axles. We're going to talk more about these tires, hard plastic tires, two-piece, and then a rivet in the front. So the white part, obviously, is plastic, and that's, uh, you know, it does the eyebrows around the rim. Uh, then it's got the bumper with a winch, got that same kind of uh, front end as uh, the uh, other one, the littler one. So they just kind of zoomed it up a little bit, so that's kind of neat. Um and uh, I'm not really sure about this U <laughs> around the uh, the uh, headlight there that sits in a U. But uh, so that's it. Uh, it's same kind of thing on this side. And then the back has got uh, two jerry cans and a tow hitch and a bumper. On the top here, we've got uh, not so much detailed spare tire, but you see we've got hinges, we've got a pickaxe, we've got a shovel. That's really kind of cool. Yeah, maybe a little kind of uh, tire cover on the on the uh, spare tire. A lot of times these buggers don't come with the top. Yeah. The, as a matter of fact, I'll show you what they come like. <laughs> Whoa. 
Whoa, sorry about that. We had an earthquake. Sorry about that. Yeah, here, okay, so here's a dollar. Yeah, I'll pay a dollar for this. Yeah, look at that bugger. Yeah, she's pretty well beat up. This is all original. I didn't take this apart. This is uh, brown with the white interior, you know. So, uh, yeah, so this is kind of how they come. This is what the interior looks like. The steering wheel is kind of all bent up and everything. <laughs> looks like it got chewed. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's like one of my worst uh, uh, examples. I could not tell you what came first. I would, I want to say this one came first. The, there is a million and one of these uh, Tootsie toys um, that came, I, I believe, came first. Um, and let's just take a look at some of my other ones. You know, very clean, top, you know, $4 on this one. Oh, well, they put the sticker on the inside probably to try to preserve it. But uh, white interior. And then uh, I don't have so many of these because they these are kind of rare and hard to find. I mean, they're not plentiful, but uh, but uh, I mean it's kind of hard to find them with the stickers on. Obviously, the stickers are probably the one thing that you know. Obviously, you know you wash and you play and you uh, bounce these things around. You know, the stickers. What did I What did I do here? Oh, I bought this at a flea market. Three dollars. Three dollars and seventeen cents. I paid for that one. We got to keep the documentation on that in case the cops pull us over. We got a proof of sale or whatnot for that one, <laughs> right? <laughs> if I can get it back in there, of course you know you can't do it while the camera's rolling. But anyway, all right. So yeah, that. So that's I. I, in my opinion, this is the first rendition of this model, the Tootsie toy, and I would say the second rendition. Is going to be this one here. This is going to be it. It's green Tootsie Toy Land Rover with a brown interior and uh, base. Um, now, these wheels, I find uh, the wheels, they come and go. They're different. They're different. Uh, I think they all started out with the white wheel like this. And then after a while, they got to be fancy. I mean, it's a fancier sticker, you know, fancier color chrome on the wheels you know uh no oh, whopping two bucks here look out folks i'm i'm splurging but uh, i think this is the next model or uh recolor that came out um just really nice i think this is one of the last ones that i had acquired and uh as you see yeah it uh broken a pillar there but uh, now this one's got white wheels on it. You know, I don't know, you know, it's hard to say, you know, and, uh, you know, research on Tootsie Toys is really hard. There is a book out there, but I, I didn't spend the money for a book or anything like that. I, I want you folks to kind of help me out and tell me what's going on. That, that's what I want. I want to see your Tootsie Toys and I want to see your collection. So that's, that's what it is. And I mean, I did some research, but you know, not too much. But anyway, so this is one of them that, you know, hey, came without a top, you know, came without a top. So interesting enough, I'm just going to stop and make a side note here. Green with tan. And, uh, and so, yeah, brown with white, green with tan. That, that's kind of, you know, if they're not like that, you might have something. Uh, if they are like that, then, then you're doing good. All right, so I'm going to show you. I got a little glass case here that I pulled off from my shelf. I actually happen to have made this glass case. And I'm going to get the doors open here so we can take a look at um, my nicest models that I have on display. Uh, these I have on display, but they're just uh, on a shelf. All right, first off, we're going to show you this one here which is uh, plain old Tootsie Toy, brown with the white, very bright white, very clean. Um, you know, not a lot of rust on it. Axles are pretty clean. Then you've got the white tires on there. Just a beautiful, uh, beautiful example. Let's see, do you want to see how much I paid for this one? Oh boy, here's the, and five dollars. Oh boy, five dollars, yep breaking the bank so that was uh that's one of my nicest models and i'll put that back in the cabinet we'll grab another one here and uh here's the other one 
that uh, I somehow deemed in my great wisdom that this would be uh, the best of the best. And i um, playing with the door. Never mind the door. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, just a, just a beautiful little truck, brown with the white. Oh, $5 again. We got a winner again. $5 again. All right. The next step I'm going to take you on is uh, the green one. And uh, this is, like I, my, I'm saying, the second edition, the second recolor, brown with, or green with the brown interior. See the decals are pretty nice now. This has got those chromed wheels versus white. Pretty nice looking um, all the way around. Very clean. I don't think this has really had been played with at all. You know, it's clean underneath. The axles are bright. Now... This next one is, uh, I was happy to find this one. I didn't know this existed. Yeah, check that out. Check out those wheels, huh? They're different. Chrome, and, you know, i I got to believe, you know, they've made more toys than this Land Rover Tootsie did. But, uh, and you could, I mean, there is a, a possibility that these people that sold these to me, you know, the kids or them, they swapped out these wheels. I don't know. I have no reference to tell you um, what it is, but I, I'll tell you more that I think this is original because uh, something else I'm going to show you. What it and the retail price is? Thank you, Bob Barker. <laughs> Three fifty. Yeah. So you can't beat that. I was really happy with that find out in the wild uh, because the tire variation. I had already had this one, and uh, so. Uh, yeah, I was kind of excited. All right, one last one that I want to show you. And to tell you the truth, I am totally ecstatic. I found this in the wild. I uh, I don't know if it's got a price tag on it or not. But I don't care because this is the pride and joy of my Tootsie Toy uh, collection. Save the best to last. Black, brown wheels. Those uh, vent wheels. Tootsie Toy, the latest, newest, black interior, black on black, 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 I can't say it enough, black. I have never seen one of these on eBay for sale. I have never seen another example of this anywhere in the world. <laughs> so I came across it. I know I did buy it in the wild, and I didn't pay much for it. I'm, You know, it wasn't $10. It was... I want to say it was like five or five or so dollars and uh, just a beautiful example. Just, uh, I didn't really clean it up or anything like that. I, I kind of like to keep things original, you know, unless I got a couple of them and then I can, uh, you know, custom and customize and stuff like that. So there you go, folks. Oh, yep. Yeah, this one, uh, I was going to fix the steering wheel, but that's the original steering wheel that, that came in it. And I just, uh, perch that bad boy back in there but uh so that's my pride and joy the rare hard to find hey if you've got one if these are just common out out west or in australia or wherever you're from let me know uh i don't like I say it's very hard to find uh information on these and uh hopefully this was uh well you know entertaining and you know it was uh Oh, uh, oh, wait, I got to show you one more. <laughs> yeah, I'm always with the one last one. Here's one. I was going with the Zamax. Now, this one I put on some tires and different tires. and just, you know, I must have bought this one. It was really uh, crummy design or whatever, you know, condition. Uh, it's the first edition. I took off. I really didn't do much. You know, I barely took the paint off. But this is my Zamax. I just found some wheels from another Land Rover or toy. And, uh just put that on there so yeah you can see this is pretty well beat up you know so i was just playing around so that that that's it right there but there you go folks hey uh we're going on 30 minutes i gotta go you thank you very much for joining me today uh on roverland if you want you know go ahead like subscribe and uh, hit the bell to get notified and also join me on instagram Roverland channel and Facebook Land Rover. Send me a picture of your Tootsie Toy Land Rover.
Later!